one of the things that I felt when I moved to Shelburne, I left the city thinking I was coming back and I just didn't really ever come back and, and stayed in Shelburne Falls. And I find that people who, I don't know that one can ever accept something like this, but I think education and knowledge are the answer to, you know, if you're educated and you know you have tools at your disposal, you know, you can go any way you want, but, but be informed at least, know, know what, what's what. I mean, I, you know, I could sit here and say, oh, well, go take up an instrument and amuse yourself on the guitar or something, but that's not for everyone either. I mean, I think people find their, the thing that, that moves them and turns them on and gets them, gets them going. I mean, you know, it could be riding a motorcycle, but <laughs> I found, I lo always loved horses and, I, and one of the reasons I picked Shelburne Falls was because I, there's a stable right near me and I, I ride as much as I can. I, and it's so great for my soul. I mean, it's, the, everything about it is, um, and, and you know, there's an example of power that is kind of healthy. You know, you're, you're controlling this animal that could wipe you out in a heartbeat, you know, and, they, and to communicate with them in a way that, that you think they might actually get it. And to think that you've actually spoken to this animal through your body is, that's really, I just, it's the greatest. And, um, and the other thing I was thinking, one of the things I've done, and I think it's helped me hugely, is I do yoga every day. I wake up and I tape, I've been taping different yoga classes that are on cable or whatever. And I do that for half an hour in the morning. It's ba I make a cup of coffee and I go do yoga. And even when I can't stand it, it's like, oh God, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Just walk out, you know, and I've just learned in 12 years or whatever it's been that 11, 10, 10 years that it's, it's the minute I start, I'm so happy I'm there. It's like, how come I didn't want to do this? And it is, and then after I'm done, I meditate for 20 minutes. Way back in my college days, I got a, I was doing transcendental meditation. I never took it to heart. I never took it went for it really and then and so when this all happened I started doing that again and so I do my yoga and I medit meditate for 20 minutes I in, in TM you're supposed to meditate once in the morning and once at night but I just do the morning and there are days I have to skip because I'm so freaking busy but I really try to make that in my day and I have found it to create a focus, a, a peace of mind. I just don't get as riled as I used to get. I, I'm a type A personality and I, I mean, I'm going 90 miles an hour most of the time. But people have said, boy, you're a little different, you know, and that's, that's the greatest compliment.